Hey guys, it's me Michael here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to overclock the Intel HD 4600 graphics, which comes pre-installed in a lot of the Haswell 4th generation Intel processors. Um, in my case, I'm actually using the 4570 processor, the i5-4570, uh, 3.6 GHz, but a lot of people have been saying that like the Intel graphics is really bad, but it actually has a lot of potential, especially with the newer... 4600, 4400 models, and the 4200 models. So, let's begin. The first thing you want to do is go to the Intel support website. So, just search up Intel support and then just click Intel customer support. And now you'll have this whole thing here. And what we want to do is you want to actually, you want to go to search support to topics and search up. Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Now you should come up with a bunch of um, results and you should just scroll down you sh sorry you should click downloads actually and then you should scroll down until you find the latest version which for me is 4.3 just make sure it's um, compatible with your operating system, so Windows 7, Windows 8, for this one, and then just download it. Make sure you press I accept, and then it will start downloading automatically. And I've already downloaded this, so I'm not going to show you, but after you've downloaded it, simply run the installer, and it's just like installing any other program. There's nothing special about it. But after you finish the install, go ahead and open up the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility should if you've pretty much done all of the default installs go straight to your desktop but you may need to search for it in the search menu so this is a great program it pretty much allows you to monitor and change all of your CPU and GPU options as long as they're Intel so if you want to overclock your core you just press core up here and then you just press I agree remember this is at your own risk if you do this you can damage your computer like I, I actually can't because I can't overclock my current processor, but remember we're talking about graphics, which we can overclock. So just click graphics. And now the thing we want to be changing is this processor graphics ratio limit. Now I find that the most I can go up to is about 14,000 megahertz, so 1.4 gigahertz. Um, I think the default is 10.5, so the max is um, the max is 10, the max is 1.1.05 gigahertz, but you will get a massive improv improvement in performance if you go up to 14.0 and then you can apply that um, yeah I'm this is perfectly safe it didn't really increase my uh, CPU's temperature by too much and I can run most games as long as I'm putting them on low settings at like 90 FPS I can I can even run Skyrim on high at like 40 FPS so it's great and a lot of people underestimate the power of these little um, integrated graphics but yeah it's just showing you how to get more out of what you've got in your processor and also just shows that you don't really need to go buy a really expensive graphics card although it will be better I'm just showing that you can do well with uh, Intel HD graphics. Also one other thing, in, in your BIOS as you open up your computer there should also be a GPU boost option if you go into the advanced settings but obviously I can't show you that and that does improve FPS a bit but this is definitely the main way you want to do it. Now I believe that if you have like a solid power supply you can probably go up to like 16.5 times but I find that I don't like to do that because my temperature goes a bit too high. But yeah, 14.0 times is great, and you can run most games at a really good FPS. So, yep, that's just me showing, and my temperature right now at idle is around 35, which is not bad at all. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That's just how to overclock your Intel HD 4600 and any other Intel HD graphics card. Alright, see you later, guys. Bye.